everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well. Please excuse the state of me. I have literally just got out of the shower so I'm very like fresh face. I washed my hair and everything like that and I thought I would start the vlog because this is going to be the last vlog that I do before I give birth. <laughs> so I am currently 39 weeks pregnant. I am due next week <laughs> which is so weird hang on i'm just gonna open these blinds let a bit more light in there we go um yeah i'm due next week which is just so weird and i just still have not got my head around it it just feels like this pregnancy has gone so so fast it has for me anyway i don't know about anyone like anyone else watching maybe for you guys it hasn't but for me it feels like it's gone really really quick and i can't believe i'm literally at my due date next week i know obviously baby will probably come after my due date but even so she's gonna be here in the next couple of weeks so very very strange um but yeah i've just been feeling a little bit like oh just tired obviously and just a bit all over the place really very emotional i've been crying quite a lot and stuff just all the hormones and everything like that and today was just one of those days where like everything just went wrong it was just I had a plan for today and yeah, it just all went out the window. Um, so yeah, this is why I'm now here at half past two in my dressing gown and I've only just washed my hair. But I went out this morning for a dog walk with Raph. It has been chucking it down with rain probably for the last like month or so I'd say now. You guys all know that if you live in England, we're experiencing some very bad weather. I think this is like the, I think someone said to me it's the wettest July we've had in Manchester since records even ever began which is wild and yeah definitely feel that because it's literally raining non-stop so I went out with breath this morning got absolutely soaked but it was quite nice to get out anyway but even doing like things like that like just going out for an hour walk I just get so tired and if I'm not careful if I sit down I will not get back up for the rest of the day and I knew I had stuff to do today so anyway um came back and then just since then just everything was going wrong like well just so many little things are just getting getting to me you know anyway so i just thought you know what i need to just take a second to just relax and chill and i'm going to get in the shower i'm going to wash my hair i'm going to do like one of those everything showers you know when you do like a hair mask a scrub all of that stuff and just try and feel a little bit better in myself and i just felt a bit like i don't know i'm quite swollen and stuff at the minute and i just didn't feel very good like in myself or like from the outside either so i just thought you know what i think a pamper is what you need so that is literally what i've done <laughs> and i'm here i need to dry my hair and everything like that but i did my big pamper sesh with some beauty pie products so i wanted to just show you what i use quickly and tell you that i have a discount code with them so if you guys don't know what beauty pie is i've mentioned them a lot of times before so i'm sure you do but they are basically like an online website that stocks loads of products from skincare makeup a little bit of homeware like candles and stuff like that lifestyle products um and they just have so much good stuff and basically you pay a membership fee either annually or monthly and then that gets you access to their amazing prices and the prices really are so so good like you literally just have to click on the link on my bio and have a little browse and you can see how reduced the prices are when you are a member and their products all come from the sort of real high-end luxury um factories that the high-end brands use so it's really really good stuff but you're just getting you're basically cutting out the middleman and getting a really good deal and i have been a member for quite a while now and i really truly love it so i know i have spoken about beauty pie before but at the minute they are running a deal where you can basically get a 30-day free access pass so if you want to give beauty pie a go but you're not sure if you want to commit yet or anything like that then you can um, be a member with them for 30 days for free and then after that you'll start paying your monthly membership if you want to or you can cancel it um, but it's a good chance to try it out just so you can get that 30 days for free and i have another discount code which i'll pop on the screen and that will get you 10 pound off your first order once you sign up with that free access pass so i will leave all the information down below but if you want to give beauty pie a go i'd say now is a really good time where you can get the 30 day free access pass and also 10 pound off your first order you will probably save the cost of a membership in your first order anyway so yeah it's definitely a good time to try it out so let me show you what i used so lots of like moisturizing goodness things like that which is what i really feel like i need at the minute and what i really feel like is helping me kind of pamper myself and feel better so this is the super healthy skin i love this range the moisturizing shea butter body wash so i used that and then i also used this which is a new one for me it's the super healthy skin nourishing body polish so i literally only just used it today 
but it's lovely it's like this kind of like sugary texture um body polish and i just use that as an exfoliator on my skin which was so so nice it's got mango and papaya coconut milk and orange and lemon oil so really lovely smell as well and then i also use this this is the sorry it's really wet because um i just used it <laughs> but this is the super healthy hair luscious moisture treatment mask as you can see i've used it quite a few times now this is just so lovely it leaves my hair super silky smooth and hydrated so I've really been enjoying that and then i'm just about to let me get it out of my drawers just about to go in with the wow look at that <laughs> the super healthy skin deluxe body cream this smells so good sam's obsessed with this too so yeah we both use this but i'm just about to go in with that and then do a little bit of skincare as well probably using some of my favorite products like the triple hyaluronic acid serum and um just some nice like hydrating moisturizers as well so i'm just gonna do a little bit of moisturizing while i chat to you but i will leave the link and everything like that for beauty pie in the description box and also my discount code i don't know how long that access pass is going to be on for um, but i know it has been on for a couple months already so i definitely would recommend signing up to it whilst you have a chance it's no obligation and if you don't want to carry it on you don't have to but you may as well it's free um, and then yeah as i said you can get 10 pound off your first order as well so great time to try i am going to full body moisturize now so i'm going to come back to you when i am looking more like a glazed donut and less like a shriveled prune <laughs> um i need to dry my hair and everything like that and yeah we will crack on with the day i'm just chilling at home today it's pretty much my only plans for the next two weeks is just to chill at home and yeah, I need to do some washing, bits and bobs like that, have a little tidy up and that is my plan. I'm probably just relaxed because I get tired very easily, like <laughs> very easy. I think after I dry my hair, I'm going to need to just collapse on the sofa because I'll be very tired from that, but we will do our best. I've also got a few unboxings I want to show you as well, like some clothes and stuff that I've bought. Also, whilst I'm here, I always get asked questions on this dressing gown. It's from the White Company. My friend got it for me as a birthday present and it was such a lovely gift. So yeah, we very much recommend it. I'll leave it linked down below as well. Okay, I am dressed. I've literally just got some really comfy jogging bottoms on from Abercrombie and a little white tee from Zara. Not a lot fits me right now, so <laughs> this is what we're going with. Also, don't judge that I've not yet made the bed. I'm about to do that. It feels so weird that this is going to be like the last time Sorry, I don't mind this humongous pregnancy pillow. The last time I vlog. Um, yeah, without a baby. <laughs> it feels so strange. Like, I don't know, I can't get my head around that. I keep saying, oh, this will be the last time I do this before I have a baby or whatever. Like, I just, <laughs> I don't know. It's very, very strange. I'm in like a bit of a weird headspace at the minute. Um, very excited headspace, but also like obviously quite like nervous and apprehensive about birth and yeah, just lots of things really, but I suppose I don't have a choice now. <laughs> I'm just going to pop a little bit of light makeup on just so I can feel a bit more human I'm using the Beauty Pie Shinkai Electrolyte Drench, I think it's called. It's super nice moisturising, very hydrating. I got sent these Bobbi Brown uh, vitamin enriched skin tints the other day. I think I might give them a go because I always used to wear, I don't know if I still have it in here. Oh yeah, I always used to wear this Bobbi Brown, the nude finish tinted moisturizer. And I don't actually know why I stopped wearing it. So I thought I'd give this a go, but I just don't know which shade to go for. I think that one looks a little bit dark. We'll try this one. Um, so yeah, a little update for you guys. So when I was 37 weeks, so a couple of weeks ago now, I went for a growth scan and basically they were a little bit unhappy with uh, baby girl's growth. Um, it's quite common to be fair. Uh, a lot of my friends have had the same, like they've had to go for growth scans and stuff. But yeah, they just weren't too happy with the amount of weight she was putting on daily. Uh, so it was all a little bit like scary really, but they basically decided to give me another scan in a week's time and then another scan the week after that and just see how things progress. They weren't like really, really worried. It was just like a little bit. So anyway, they said basically, I like that. It's very, very sheer. Like it literally is a skin tint, but I think it's really nice. 
It's not like drying or anything. I think it's nice and glowy. So basically they weren't super, super worried. They just wanted to keep an eye on things uh, essentially, but they did say, depending on the results of your scan, we might be looking at an induction or a C-section at around 38, 39 weeks. So I was a little bit like, oh wow, okay. Like that's not really something I'd really thought about. Um, but like obviously whatever's best for, sorry, I can't really see very well. <laughs> in the viewfinder, so I'm using this mirror. Let me move the mirror. So yeah, that, that was basically potentially on the cards. And I think because that had been mentioned and it seemed as though like the next scan I had, her growth was sort of still not 100% where they wanted it to be. I kind of started to get my head around having a C-section or an induction earlier. So yeah, it was a little bit like weird, but I was starting to get my head around it. Anyway, I went for, I had like various consultant appointments and I had um, blood tests and things like that. So yeah, I was kind of getting my head around it. I went for various blood tests and consultant appointments and everything like that. And yeah, I was getting my head around that idea. Anyway, I went for a scan this week, earlier this week, and all of a sudden she seems to have had like a bit of a growth spurt and has grown a lot. So they are now happy with the weight that she's gained and we are just carrying on as normal now, which although I was obviously so relieved and really, really happy that like everything's fine, I kind of got my head around like <laughs> the fact that I was gonna be having the baby like last week kind of thing. So, or like this week, last week, this week. So yeah, it was kind of weird now to be like, no, okay, it's fine. And you're just gonna carry on and um, wait and just see what happens basically. So yeah, I think I've definitely learned in pregnancy one thing you cannot do is plan for your child's birth. Obviously, unless you have like an elective C-section, but um, generally you can't. So <laughs> yeah, it's just taken me a couple of days to like wrap my head around the fact that we are not doing an induction or a C-section just yet. And we're just gonna see how things progress. So that is the current plan, basically. We just, we just wait it out, wait and see. Which for someone who is a massive control freak like myself, that is quite hard to do <laughs> because I am such a planner. I like to know when things are happening and I just find it really hard to just like go with the flow, which obviously is kind of what you need to do. So yeah, <laughs> that's where we're at at the minute, but I'm feeling good. I'm just, I've got like a few kind of aches and pains and things like that. And I've definitely got a lot of pressure down on my pelvis and um, the midwife had a little feel the other day and said that she is definitely head down, definitely head engaged. But yeah, just a waiting game now. <laughs> so feels very, very strange. But yeah, that's all that's happening. I've literally got nothing in my calendar for the next two weeks, which again is really unlike me. Normally I'm someone that likes to have loads of plans and things like that. So I just need to take this time to like rest, relax and wait. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup now because otherwise this vlog is gonna go on forever. Dry my hair and then come back and chat to you. By the way, I just wanted to add, if I literally make no sense in this video, then I'm sorry in advance, but my head is just all over the place at the minute. It just, I just feel like I keep getting things wrong. I keep getting my words mixed up. I think there's probably a lot going through my brain for a start and also just like pregnancy brain and all the hormones and stuff like that. So I really apologize if I say something and then I say something else and nothing makes sense, <laughs> basically, because that is just where I'm at at the minute. <laughs> right, let's get this hair dry. This is literally the worst job of all that needs to be done. Okay, hair is done. I feel so much better for doing that. So I feel like one of my life mottos is if you're feeling low and you're feeling overwhelmed and stressed and all of that, have a shower, wash your hair, have a bit of a pamper and you will probably feel even just a little bit better because I definitely do. So I thought whilst I'm here, I could do a little bump update because this is gonna be the last one probably. So this is how we are looking. I am currently, yeah, 39 weeks pregnant so yeah this is a little baby girl bump <laughs> um yeah as you can see i have a quite a big scar across my stomach and it's really really stretched out <laughs> quite a lot but yeah 
that's the update. Can't believe that'll be my last one for YouTube. Very, very strange. Whilst I'm here in the bedroom, I thought I would go through our little bedroom changing dresser unit thing. I don't think I've done this yet. So this unit is from John Lewis. Um, so yeah, it needs to be, it's taking up a bit of space there. I'm gonna move this mirror and push it in. But yeah, the unit itself is from John Lewis. This mat is from Gilded Bird. I hope I haven't already done this, but it's one of those like wedge mats that's like wipeable. And then in here, hang on, they're not meant to be in there. That's ruined my organization. <laughs> in here we have nappies. And then we have vests, like newborn and zero to one vests. And then we have baby grows um, and a couple swaddles as well. And then we have baby wipes. I don't know why the scissors in there. We have baby wipes. We have some creams, nappy creams and stuff. And I'll probably put other bits and bobs in there. And then these are like those bed pad things. I spoke about them in my hospital video. Um, by the way, I'm not wearing my ring because <laughs> my hands are swollen. But yeah, I spoke about them in my hospital video. Apparently they're just really good to put down for those first few poos and stuff. Uh, and yeah, saves just using a million wipes basically <laughs> to clean up everywhere. Uh, and then behind that, I just have the sheets for our little bedside crib. Uh, and then there were some muslins as well. These muslins are from Avery Row, which is like my favorite brand. I love the prints. And then that one's from Lywood. But yeah, I just had them on top of there. And then in the next drawer, we have everything that I need for postpartum, which I just thought was helpful to have in here. It's right next to our toilet. So yeah, I can just grab stuff that I need. So we have nappies for me. <laughs> um, yeah, these are just like the tenor um, disposable pants. So that's that. And then we have a load of pads as well. And then other things that I might need, like this is the witch hazel foam from um, Free Your Mom, witch hazel pads. This is a cold and warm birth relief pad. I've just got that in there. There's just some black underwear from M&S. And then these are some disposable underwear as well. And then over here, we just have a breastfeeding section. So these are breast pads. I've got some breast milk storage bags there. And then this is just a mishmash of like loads of random stuff. I've got my breast pump there, which is the Medala one. And then I just have cotton wool. Uh, these are the cold pads from Freedom Mum that you click and then they turn cold. And yeah, just random bits and bobs in there. That one's not very organized. <laughs> But this one is nice and organized and so is the baby's one. So yeah, I just think this is gonna save us in the night, basically. And then another thing that I thought would be helpful, I'm just, I'm just trying to make my life as easy as physically possible <laughs> post birth um, because Sam doesn't get any time off with her baby. So he'll just get the birth off and that's it. And then he will have to be going back to work. I'm really hopeful that my mum is going to be able to come and stay with me. Um, but my mum is having treatment at the minute, um, which I'm not going to get into, but if you guys have been around for a while, you, you will know about that probably. But yeah, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, so I just thought I need to do things that are going to make my life easier. And yeah, so I have put together this little bedside caddy and basically I've just popped everything in there that I think I'm going to need like in reach. Uh, so I don't have to get up for basically obviously we have like the nappy changing station which I will have to get up for but everything else that I just might need quickly I just thought I'll pop in this caddy and then I'll have it on my bedside table so we have so it looks like this it's just from Amazon let me show you a little bit better so this side is the baby side so I just have three muslins there I have the brawn temperature thermometer thing I have a couple of bibs there as well. Uh, I haven't got any outfits because her outfits are literally just there. I've got a pack of wipes and then I have a pack of the antibacterial wipes as well, just in case. And then I also have popped her little electric nail file in there as well because a lot of people said it was best to do this like when they're feeding. Um, so yeah, I popped that in there. And then the other two sides are for me. So as you can see, on one side I have snacks. So I've got a load of Ritz crackers and then I've got like these Callow snacks. Um, and then I just have like cereal bars and stuff like that. So I've got them in there just because I thought if I'm breastfeeding and stuff like that in the night, I might be hungry. 
and I don't want to have to go downstairs and get stuff. I've also got a pack of polos in there as well. And then I've also got some paracetamol in there. And then if I have like any other medication or whatever that I need to take, I'll pop that in there. And then in the next section, I have a stack of breast pads. I have two nipple creams. And then I have these nipple shields. So this is like my breastfeeding section basically. So I have these nipple shields. I also have the hacker, which is like basically kind of like a silicon collector for when you breastfeed, you can put it on the boob you're not using so that you don't lose any breast milk. So I have one of them as well. And I've got a lip balm in there too. And I think that's it. If you guys can think of anything really, really useful to have by your bed um, in those postpartum days, please let me know, that would be great. I'll link this down below too. Also, whilst I'm here, I was just about to put this hoodie away, but I bought this hoodie in H&M yesterday and just thought I'd show you for anyone who's on the market for a nice zip up hoodie. It's like a scuba material and yeah, it's really, really nice. I'm very, very happy with it. I think it would just be a good one to throw on in the autumn, winter or even now because it's pretty cold now, to be honest. Um, but yeah, and I'm gonna go downstairs now and open up some of the parcels that I've got and show you what I've got. So I did an order with Arquette and, and other stories. I didn't get loads, but I'm basically starting to think about postpartum dressing, which is kind of equal parts scary and equal parts exciting. I don't know, probably more so scary because I don't know how my body's gonna feel. I don't know, I'm probably not gonna feel that confident and stuff like that, but I am looking forward to be able, be able to wear just more options, being able to wear jeans and things like that. So. Yeah, it seems silly to buy anything maternity or anything that like works for me right now at the minute because I'm probably only going to have this bump for a couple more weeks, which is very, very strange. But anyway, <laughs> uh, let's start with and other stories. Also, whoa, <laughs> does anyone else have a really like unjust hatred for these things? I just find them so annoying. Like they don't fit in the bin properly and I just find them annoying. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, so this is very unlike me, but I think influenced by the state of the weather at the moment. Hang on. This is quite a wintry haul, which is kind of sad, but just doesn't really make sense to be buying summer clothes because it feels very much like our summer is over. Although apparently September is meant to be nice, so fingers crossed for that. But let me... Oh wow, this is a very wintry haul. <laughs> this is like pure knitwear. So also another thing that I'm thinking about postpartum is breastfeeding. Now I am going to do my very best to breastfeed. I would really like to breastfeed, but equally, if it doesn't happen for me, if something's not right or whatever it is, then I will go on to a different way of feeding. Um, but I've been kind of trying to think about what, sorry, heartburn. I've been trying to think about what kind of clothes would be good for breastfeeding as well. So yeah, I don't know, it's a it's a difficult one. Not everything that I've bought is perfect for breastfeeding because like I said, I don't know if I'm going to be able to breastfeed. But yeah, anyway. First up from another story, I got this really big chunky knitted cardigan. I love a cardigan as you can tell, because I'm literally wearing one right now. But I really loved this last year, I think it was, but it sold out. So I thought I would get it this year, although, I got the wrong size. I went for an extra small one now. I think I should have gone for a small. I hate when that happens. But yeah, it's this cardigan and it's got like a crossover detail kind of thing. Uh, tortoise shell buttons, nice wide arms. But I don't know if maybe... Mm, it might be okay. It's kind of hard to judge obviously right now because I have a bum. Also smells like smoke. Why does it smell like smoke? <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know, it's going to be a bit difficult to try it on and imagine what it's going to look like because I have a bump, but I'm thinking that neck looks quite high, maybe I should have gone for a small, but I was kind of imagining this like tucked into like some nice white cream loose jeans. I feel like everything I say I have to preface like with, I know that you can't wear like white around kids, like I just feel like people really like to um, offer unsolicited advice when it comes to like kids and babies and things like that. And I just feel like everything I say, at the back of my mind, I'm like, someone's gonna tell you, you can't wear white jeans when you have kids because they're just gonna get messy, like blah, blah, blah. 
So I feel like I have to then say, I know that you're gonna say that, like almost just try and stop people from saying it. I don't know, I find myself doing it all the time. Like I shared some baby grows the other day that had poppers and I just knew because I've had it quite a few times before, how many people were gonna message me saying, you should get the zip ones with the zips, they're so much better. But like I have loads of ones with the zips and I just wanted some with pop some with poppers as well. Maybe it's just a me thing, maybe like, I don't know, maybe I'm preempting it and maybe it won't even happen, but I know it does happen because I've been getting it a lot and it's quite a lot to deal with. It can be quite overwhelming sometimes. So yeah, anyway, I don't know. I just feel like at the minute, whatever I say, I have to kind of like preface with like a, I know that you're gonna say when I have a baby, I should, I like can't wear white, like, I know. <laughs> People love to tell you these things, but anyway, I don't know why I just went off on that tangent. But my idea was it with this was to wear with some cream jeans and like just trainers or something, so quite chilled. But obviously it is a cardigan and I can wear like a vest underneath and hopefully breastfeed with it. But yeah, that smell was a bit weird. And then next up I got another cardigan, but this is a cardigan that I plan to wear more as like a shirt kind of style. Just paired with like some black jeans, probably like some loose black jeans and some boots or something maybe, I don't know. But it's like quite a small kind of cropped cardi. Um, it's pretty simple really, it's literally just a plain black cardigan. So you can't really even see it very well. <laughs> um, but again, I got that in an extra small too. I don't know why I'm thinking that would be the right size. It's quite hard, it turns out, buying postpartum things <laughs> when you are not yet postpartum. But I just don't want to get to a point where I want to go out and I just look at my wardrobe and just have this huge like wardrobe meltdown. <laughs> so I'm kind of trying to like preempt it, but maybe that's not a very good idea. I don't know. But yeah, I got that cardigan. And then this next one is just a t-shirt. And it's like a knitted t-shirt. But I just thought this was like really smart. And I just thought it would look nice tucked into a pair of jeans. So yeah, that's that. I won't be trying these bits on because obviously they're not going to fit me right now. But yeah, you guys can get the vibe. And I will of course link them down below anyway. But yeah, I really like the cream colour of that and I just thought the knit detail just gave it a bit more of like a smarter kind of fit. I just picked up this bag from Arquette which is a little bit smaller than expected. I basically just wanted a lighter bag. I have a lot of black bags and I don't know I thought like with that cardigan and like a cream jeans kind of look or even just like blue, blue jeans I thought this could be nice. Oh, I really like that actually. That's such a nice colour. I can't do some such gorgeous bags. And they are like on the pricier side. So this one was £139. But oh my goodness, the quality. Yeah, that's definitely real leather. Um, the quality is just beautiful. So this is the bag. It's like a creamy, beigey, mushroomy colour bag. If that makes any sense. <laughs> I feel like the lighting in this room is really not doing it any justice. The lighting is really orange for some reason. I don't know why. But yeah, this is the bag. Let me let me put it on for you so you can kind of get a gist of the size. So yeah, it looks like that. Just a really lovely like shoulder bag basically. And I love the gold hardware on it. I feel like it's quite rare to get bags with the gold hardware. So yeah, love that. And it's actually really, really roomy inside as well. So I just thought that was nice. Not sure what impulsive part of me decided that I needed it, but yeah, it's adjustable as well on the straps. Yeah, it's pretty much, that's all I can say about it. I'm pretty sure they did this in black as well, and I'm pretty sure they do a bigger version too, but I really, really like that. And it's literally like nothing, I, I don't have anything at all like it. And I think it will come in really, really handy. So they are the bits that I picked up. Now I'm going to give the kitchen a little bit of a tidy up because it desperately needs it. And yeah, just get myself bit more sorted and then I'm probably gonna take a little bit of a rest on the sofa because I'm starting to get quite tired now. <laughs> I also picked up this fruit bowl from H&M which I thought I would show you. It's really nice. So yeah, perfect size for our fruit. I have just realized I haven't shown you our kitchen. Hang on, let me have a little tidy up of it and then I'll show you.
So you guys may remember that we had our kitchen worktops replaced um, a little while ago. Well, we have finally finished off the kitchen by also getting it painted. This was a really dark uh, blue before. Hello darling, you're a bit mucky from your walk, aren't you? Um, it was a really dark blue before and it is now this beautiful shade of cream. Hang on, it's a really bad light to show you because <laughs> it's so dark outside. But this is Benjamin Moore Creamy White and I absolutely love it so, so much. It's so lovely and it's really, really brightened up the kitchen as well. I do have a little before and after on my Instagram. If I can put it on here, I will. But if not, then head over to my Instagram. It's all a bit of a mess over here because I'm just sorting stuff out for baby. Because um, we just got a new steriliser and stuff. So yeah, I'm just trying to like organize this a little bit better. I've got a little books that I need to put somewhere. Also, I succumbed. <coughs> oh. Oh. oh, bless me, sorry. Um, I succumbed and I got a Stanley Cup because they restocked them on Amazon. And I'm just really into like my insulated cold water drinks and things like that. If they're still in stock, I will link it, of course. But yeah, so this is what the kitchen looks like now and I'm just so happy with it. It's really, really brightened up the space. I feel like I'm not really giving you guys a very good view. Also, ignore our dishwasher door, it's on one key. I need to get that fixed. But yeah, I feel like I'm not really maybe giving you guys the best view, but hopefully you can kind of get the gist. But yeah, I should have probably hoovered and things like that before I showed you it, but I'm very, very happy with it. Just going to fill up my Stanley Cup. How cute is that? I love it. And then I think what I'm gonna do is these flowers here, I got sent for my birthday from one of my friends. It was my birthday this week. And they are, there's a couple there that are looking like they're dying. So I think I'm gonna take them out of the vase, trim the stems, fresh water, and take out any dying ones so that they hopefully last a bit longer. I feel like literally every girl on TikTok ever, but <laughs> it's just so cute. <laughs> right, let's get these flowers out of the vase. These are so beautiful, these flowers. I'm obsessed with them. Let's just take them out for now. Oh, so gorgeous. Right, let's do some fresh water. I also got this bouquet for my birthday as well. Very, very spoiled. Um, but a few of these are dying too. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna combine the two bouquets because they're quite similar vibes. They're like all creams and whites and stuff. So I think I'm just gonna combine the two and create an extra big one and probably put it on the dining room table. Just going to give all of the stems a little trim, just so that they can soak up all of that water nicely. And there we go, this is how they're looking on our table. Lovely. Okay, now that's done, I think I'm gonna do one final job of the day, and that is put a wash on. The house is clean and tidy. I have just lit this candle. Please excuse the sound of the washing in the background. But this is the clean house candle by Beauty Pie. And honestly, the only way I can describe it is, sorry, camera cut me off there. But yeah, I feel like the best way to describe it is basically like when you've just had a load of fresh sheets hanging up outside and you bring them in and your house just smells of like beautiful, clean, fresh washing. It's like my absolute favorite smell ever. I love it. I just moved the flowers back over there because actually they look nicer and they get more light. There. But one thing that you are advised to do in pregnancy is eat dates once you get like further along like towards the end because there was some study to say that they can help to like soften your cervix which can help you um, have a quicker labour and um, a bit of a less painful labour and things like that. I really don't like dates at all, but I actually 
decided to try and make them a little bit more bearable and I decided to dip them in some melted chocolate <laughs> and try and eat them that way so I literally just melted some chocolate and then dip the dates in and then i froze them oh and i also put salt on them which i think has really helped because dates these dates are really really sweet and i think the salt is like yeah quite a nice touch so you meant to eat three of these big ones a day so this is my first today <laughs> they're not that bad but eating them every day is not the best <laughs> So I've gone upstairs because I decided that I wanted to give my makeup brushes a wash. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a little while and just not got around to it. So I thought, why not do it now? Makeup brush is all done. It's one of those jobs that literally takes five minutes, but you just put off for ages for some reason. So glad I've done that. Sam has just got back from work. Can say hello? <laughs> and we've ordered some pizzas which i'm very excited about they're coming in like half an hour and now i'm just going to pop some washing to out to dry and rafi's getting his dinner so he's very excited pizzas have arrived <gasps> i hope they're still warm yeah, they feel quite warm. This is my pizza. I got pepperoni with jalapenos and then I added mushroom and olive. Which is a bit random, but also got a bit of chicken on my pizza for some reason. But yeah, that's mine. And then this one is Sam's. Yeah. I can't remember what yours was called now. Oh, like a barbecue chicken or something, wasn't it? Oh, yours is <laughs> it's a bit it's got a hole in it. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. Barbecue chicken with like beef. I just added and everything basically. Pepperoni. <laughs> Pizzas are all finished. And now just the with he the is hum. literally a human. Now we are just chilling. <laughs> Thank you. Right, that's enough. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at his paws around my arm. No, 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 no. I don't want to kiss. Rav, no. <laughs> um, we are now just chilling on the sofa. And we're about to watch the final episode of Lincoln Lawyer. I swear mm. if I've got pizza on my face, I feel like I probably do. I'm actually sad it's the last episode. Yeah, we're going to watch the final episode of Lincoln Lawyer. If you aren't watching it, it's on Netflix and it's really, really good. Really recommend. But I think I'm going to finish this vlog here. And this will be my last vlog before we have a baby. Before baby girl, Rafi. Yep. Wow. So say goodbye to the vlogs for a little bit. I might vlog when she's here, like as a newborn, I don't know, it's all going to depend like just how I feel and stuff like that, I don't want to make any promises, but yeah, you probably won't see another video from me until September I would say, but who knows, I might surprise you and I might come back with one in August, it's probably just finding the time to edit rather than film is a hard thing, but yeah, how do you feel about the fact that we are going to have a baby in the next two weeks? Are you nervous? I'm excited. Are you excited, Rafi? Yeah, a little bit. Just nervous for the actual, like, labour and birthday. So, yeah, that is me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will leave all of my beauty pie codes and discount down below. And everything that I have featured in this vlog, I will try and link as well. And do head over and follow me on Instagram because I probably will update on Instagram a lot sooner than I do. <laughs> We're about to sneeze. Um, I'll probably update on Instagram a lot sooner than I do on YouTube, like in terms of when she arrives and stuff like that, just because everything's a little bit quicker over there so I can get content up quicker. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you at some point. Say bye, refs. I also wanted to say thank you so much for... Good time, anyway. <laughs> He's literally just gone and got his squeaky toy. <laughs> thank you so much for, <laughs> for your support on... <laughs> Our pregnancy over on YouTube. Rafi, that's gonna be really annoying for other dogs at home. No, no. Rafi, just just hold off, just toot, just. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for all of your support with my pregnancy over on YouTube and um, yeah.
look forward to vlogging again when she's here. See ya. Just had to show you this of Raph chilling with his elephant. <laughs> so cute. Okay, bye.